Well, hello. Welcome back to Crochet Creations and another unboxing from Hooks and Needles. This one is not a knit box. This is the uh, my first crochet box. Um, now, they had been, they launched quite a while ago because I have box seven by now. Um, so box one of crochet that would have been um, originally started is not the same one. They have upgraded this box since then from people, you know, given their opinions and, and the changes that they have made. So I'm told that this is the new and improved or the latest one. So if you buy, um, your first box, you shouldn't, uh, you should get a, a choice, I guess, of three patterns. Well, not a choice, but all three patterns in the booklet. And what that means is, like, you'll get a beginner, an intermediate, and and more advanced uh, patterns to, to be able to make one of. And then they also, I guess, have an addition where you can add more yarns to your box. And I believe I have been sent... The beginner, not the beginner, the, the first beginning box plus some extra yarn. I, I That's what I believe this is. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what we got. All right, so we have the small booklet. Beautiful. Of course, all of the, the paper and everything is so nice. They're small enough to throw in your project bag. I really like this size. Um, the only thing I would say would be if they made these so that they uh, somehow didn't have a seam. But, other, I mean, you, that's not important. What's important is is that they're smaller now. <laughs> I really do like the size. So I'm going to put this aside for a few minutes and let's look at what is in here so i don't know whether these are the extras or these are the extras i just know that you got if you have a choice of getting extras so um in your first box you probably will get a few extra of the goodies i don't know for sure in my first knitting box i got extras um, and then each one after that had like one or two uh, goodies, but not four. So in this first one, we're, we're getting some darning needles. They are silver. They're metal. They're beautiful. And they all have these tips on them so you don't poke yourself or, um, you know, break the tips off. So they are ha they have covers on them. I think that is very nice. Um, you also get uh, another, not another, I keep saying another because I already had this once. <laughs> and um, I had a, a set of stitch markers in a case exactly like this in my knitting. But I cannot open this one, I see. Um, I have no strength in my hands. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to have help opening this one. My guess is they are bulb stitch markers, just like the other box that I opened in the knit one. So I'm hoping that I'm not wrong. <laughs> then we have two other gifts. These are two hooks, and they both say 5 millimeter on them. Now, I am a Susan Bates girl. So what that looks to me looks to be to me is more like a boy hook not a susan bates so mine are more inline and these are round um and i have never seen a hook quite like this one this is this is tapered and it has like a place to put your well i don't know if i would put my hand my hand down here or not but anyway oh there's a flat part there too you know, it's kind of it they're small they're very very smooth 
they're different. Yep. All right. Well, I don't know if these are a new style that they changed to or not because I saw a picture and the pictures didn't look like these hooks, but that's okay. They, you know, I, I, I haven't, uh, I haven't seen any boxes opened by anybody. I just saw pictures. So I'm going to open this. I think I know what's in here. I think these are zippers. Yep. They are. So that's a zipper. And in a minute, we will discuss why there's a zipper in here. Because you're going to use it for a project if you want to. So let's put that down in there. And put that back down in there. And let's look at this yarn. Now this is 100% wool. And you can feel the wool in it. You can feel it. It's a little, it's like, it's got more of a stiff uh, feel to it, but it's not scratchy. It's not scratching me. It's a Starlight Sands for medium, and it's 130 yards. And it's um, the color, um, like, taupe. Well, I don't know. Maybe you wouldn't call that taupe. I'm looking to see if it says a color. I don't see one. Oh, Starlight Sands is the color. Yeah, I'll be okay. Maybe it's a little late at night to be doing a video. <laughs> That's okay. I had to do it. I was, I just, I had, the box came today and I'm like, I want to do this. And so I'm doing it. So we, I got two of those. And then these seem to be very nice. This is a tweed. It is a teal, teal or blue, beautiful tweed. Okay, let's read it and see. It's made in Portugal. It's a four medium. It's called Woodland Whisper, and it's 97% merino wool and 3% viscose. So again, we're almost 100% wool here. The viscose is your tweedy bits, but this is so soft. It is extremely soft. It's a beautiful, plump, lightweight four. Almost a three. But again, they're looking at the Tweety Bits adding to it. Very, very nice yarn. Okay, we are talking 92.5 yards. I have three of those. Beautiful. This would make a really nice hat. Just saying. Okay, let's see what they're telling us to do with this yarn. So I'm told that there's supposed to be three patterns in these. And I can show more of the book this time because this was uh, sent to me by Hooks and Needles. So this is more of a real uh, opening so you can see all of that you get, what you're expected in your box. And it says that this box has the Woodland Whisper in it, three Woodland Whisper. There they are right there. It says it has the crochet hooks. And there they are. They look a little different in the picture. It says it has the sewing needles, the stitch markers, and the zippers. So the other two, the brown yarns or the tan yarns, are my extras. All right. So let's see. A letter from the founder is also here. This is a greeting page. There's a lot of things to read in these, I noticed. Um, it's welcoming us and it's telling you how the founder, Alex, came about. She or he wanted to make something for their new baby that they were having. And uh, so they picked up a new craft to do that and then got, a pas got passionate and decided to come up with their own 
subscription box, which is this Hooks and Needles, and it was born. And um, and then it goes on to it goes right into about things to do and understand crochet charts. You can read this and learn quite a bit from it. Gauge tension, identifying and following the repeats, reading the pattern. They're or advising you to read the entire pattern before you start. Check out the special instructions. Check out the techniques. Make you make sure you understand each step. They in the end of the magazine there will be a bunch of symbols, abbreviations things like that in the glossary that you can read over and memorize to try and find them as you read the pattern. Um, so that this is very, very helpful. You can uh, work through the pattern using the stitch markers, keeping track. Um, you can also, let's see, use a row counter or mark off your rows on a printed copy of the pattern um, using the markers and the row counters. Practice makes perfect. Like any skill, reading crochet charts takes practice. So what I was going to do was I was going to go over um, the first uh, pattern in this book a little bit and then I was going to end the video and actually pick up and do this pattern for this uh, cozy bottle holder now you don't see the picture of the of the bottle holder yet it's saying that you will need a half a skein of the woodland whisper yarn and an eight or five millimeter crochet hook I may use a different brand um, They're saying this is a simple and satisfying pattern, perfect for keeping your drinks snug. Um, all right, so using 97% merino wool yarn on a cozy mug pattern. All right, so we're going to go ahead and turn the page and show you that this is full of lots of description. It tells you right from the beginning how you you should chain, start your, um, well, if I go back here, you start your loop, and then you start chaining. It gives you full descriptions, but I am also going to start this with you. Um, in just a little while, uh, I will tape some tutorials and that is for the hooks and needles group and it'll be a beginner tutorial so they're going to go ahead and they're going to go in the round until they finish the bottom and then you're going to work up the bottle all right so here's a finish picture of the bottle and that will be in future tutorial so let's keep going okay the second project in this book is using two skeins of the woodland whisper yarn so you will be able to do both the first two projects um this is called the urban crossbody bag it is for intermediates and um using an eight crochet hook again and your zipper so it's ma magic circle is one of the uh, stitches that they are choosing to use all right make a loop insert a hook into the loop and pull the yarn into the loop and then chain four and slip stitch into the first stitch of the chain all right so what they're doing is they're getting you down to a chain three um they're that does not say that that is a magic circle. They're just telling you how to start a circle there. All right. So anyway, continue on. You have a, a have a puff stitch circle, and you're gonna go 
in the round several times again coming out with a round oh okay so the the round medallion like is going to turn into a granny square in the end and it looks like it looks like you're going to make a few more of them and then sew them together in the shape of a bag and then you're going to end up putting a zipper in yeah interesting there's your handle all right there is your cross body bag in the full finished picture and then there is a third project in this bag and it is called the boho makeup pouch it is using two skeins of the woodland whisper so if you chose not to do the bag you could do the pouch the makeup pouch and again you're gonna put a zipper in so i'm guessing we're gonna need to sew that in that is not a crochet technique however a lot of people learn to add a little bit more crafts to their to their projects so that they can finish up and have a well sometimes you want to do uh inner inside your bag you want to put an insert in it okay so we're going to make little squares this time a bunch of little squares granny squares sew them together and then uh let's see see how i mean about a lot of pictures there are quite a lot okay so then after you get the squares sewed together you're going to add on and you're going to have two sides you're going to sew them together as well and then you're going to put the zipper in the top part which will make the bag like that rounded very nice different quite modern oh yes and there are a recipe in every single box or every single book this one happens to be cinnamon cookies recipe very nice so that's a little extra and then it went on to talk about you know building friendships by meeting people that also crochet whether it be on the internet or in person that's awesome and then the last pack page is our crochet glossary page it gives you a breakdown of a lot of things like back loop chain decrease increase fasten off front loop you know it's all alphabetized and there is your magic ring right there but it doesn't tell you how to do it there either all right well that is a breakdown of everything in your first crochet box I don't know if every single person will get the same exact box I do know that this is the add-on so I was sent it so that I would know what it would be like to get it and I would have extra yarns to be able to make some of the items out of this book now as you can see the picture on the front of the book is nothing like what's inside the magazine so this this could be a future one or something that they're going to add i don't know but i uh, hope you enjoyed this video and uh i hope you join me over on the facebook group when i do the tutorial for the first project in here and uh you know, uh, if you get inspired from the videos or if you decide that you just want to make the item that I'm making, that's great too. That would be great. But for now, this is um, the beginning of a relationship that I have started with Hooks and Needles and it's just for um, helping them out with the beginner crocheters and so i hope that all of my followers are enjoying this too just just for uh, uh the opening part anyway all right well take care 
take a moment out of each day, be creative, and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye for now.